Everyone's afraid of something. We are Will of the Sun. the sun is is the power of the sun above where there's a will there's a way as cheesy as that sounds it's true everything I've learned in life is that if you spend time doing it and you put energy towards it it'll be done it'll, and you can achieve anything you want if you put your mind to yeah it. with a bike ride this big with such a big challenge ideally you want to build up to it in little increments over time so that you know that you at least have the preparation you need to do it and then you know on the day of, you just tack it and do the best you can. But, you know, if you don't have that option, you kind of just have to jump right in and, and hope you can make it. Sink or swim. The mountain kills about a person every month. The worst case scenario has probably happened to people who are trying to do it as fast as they possibly can. So I'm picturing me and Wilson, huge ego, and just exploding somewhere up there in the, in the pouring rain and having to come down just bombed as hell. What would you say to the, to the beginner that maybe rides once a week? How would you encourage them? What would you... I, would, I wouldn't even try it if I was riding one day a week. <laughs> My name is Wen, and I, um, I'm 45, and I've been doing Cycle to the Sun, the race, uh, Johnny's race, for the past eight, nine years. Um, and I sometimes uh, lead, uh, guide the tours up there. And uh, I climb it during the season, maybe once, twice a week. Um, love the climb. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like meditation. But it is difficult for, for most folks to come over here and, and just do it right away. I say about a third of the people make it to the summit. So this is mind over matter. I mean, mind over well, the thing is, if this is your first time, I don't think you're going to make it. But you might as well try it. I'll be riding this. Uh, carbon composite bike here. Put the frame off of eBay for about three bills. 10 speed Durace. Found the fork in a paper bag. It's a hand built wheel set with uh, DT Swiss hubs. I'm laced up on a DT370, which I think is just probably the most awful rear hub on the planet. And Conti 4000s. Wilson's front tire is really skinny. My front tire is going to be fat. So we'll see you at the top. So I hand curated and hand selected my riding partners for this trip. I chose Allison, Nick, as the first two that would be riding to the summit because I spend most of my time riding with them. You know, who do I want to surround myself with when I'm doing this bucket list 10,000 foot summit? And Linda was a wild card because she just started riding and although her fit level, much like a marathon runner, has the fitness, not necessarily does that athlete have the ability 
to climb a mountain of this size. So it's either mental or physical, but you don't have both naturally. You have to actually gain a, a mental edge and capacity to visualize yourself climbing an endurance type ride of 10,000 feet. Preparation wise, it, it wasn't sufficient in my opinion. This is our rest day before Haleakala, and on the way home from the beach today, Nick's front wheel broke a spoke. When you break a spoke, then now the wheel isn't straight anymore, it has a wobble to it. So we're riding up the mountain tomorrow, and um, Nick and Wilson, Nick and Wilson are working on getting that wheel trued up and roadworthy again. Far back. thousand feet right now. You just asked if we're gonna break up into two different groups. Hopefully not. What's gonna happen is that me, Wilson, Allison, I'm gonna be Linda's domestiques. And we are going to bring her to the top of the fucking mountain. If she finally explodes and shit, it happens. But I have a sneaky suspicion that she'll be able to do it. I feel very uncomfortable. It's actually better now that we stopped, which I didn't yeah. think would happen, but uh, getting stiff. I feel I feel like I spun around again and again and again until I couldn't spin around anymore, and I and I stopped. I feel that way just standing still, and when I am on my bike, I feel that way. And it is highly unpleasant. You know, this is where the fun and game is over. This is about you know you against okay. the mountain, that atmosphere. You against Mother Nature, in a sense, um, exploring your own body and how far you can go. Water is a bit luxury up here. Party at the water fountain. I got the Scratch Labs Hyper Hydration Mangoes. It's got one bag of chips worth of sodium in it. It's to prevent cramps. I'm gonna dump it in this water and we're gonna get hyper hydrated. Scratch labs. Amazing.
par for the course. You guys need refuel. We gotta eat. How do you feel right now? <sighs> Exhausted. Really? Yeah. So does 1,000 elevation make that big of a difference? What do you mean? Of like feeling like from your feeling okay. I mean, being up here is different. I mean, yeah. it's exhausting me even more, for sure. I mean, they're no doubt they're right about 8,000 feet being completely different. But, you know, I'm going to make it. But this is, some, this is new to me. But I'm here. You hungry? Fun fact of the day. When things go extra wrong on these mountains, your appetite is going to be thrashed. Mm. You're not going to want to touch food. Your stomach is going to be in a knot. Your legs are going to be cramping. You're not going to be able to fucking hold down food. You're not going to even want to put it in your mouth. The mm. fact that you have an appetite... <laughs> You're all good, Linda. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Almost there, Linda. Keep going. I reach, I grow tall. I rise through it all. I'm in flight. I move mountains all my life. Doubted, underestimated, unqualified, anything is possible with the will of the sun. Breathe in. Thousand feet. Yes. Yes. Come here. Come here. Right. We're dragging him in. Sean, you're missing right. your shot. Oh, oh no. no. Have... But this is the most dangerous part of the journey. We need to do whatever we're gonna do right now, nice and quickly, smoothly, efficiently, and then gently as a nice group slide down this mountain. Yeah. Is rubber side down, guys. Rubber side down. Hopefully. Get down the mountain, all right, because this is where shit goes wrong. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna when you're going, right? Yeah, take your time. Feather the brakes. Get into the turns. Enjoy yourself. But I implore you to be careful because this shit is no joke. <laughs>
somewhere over the rainbow. Bluebirds for night and the dreams that a dream of dreams really do come true. <laughs> you are a bad bitch! <laughs> Growing up as a child, my teachers thought I had a problem. They told my parents that I daydreamed in class. As an adult, I can assure you those teachers only wish they could dream like you and me. I get my game from Oakland Digital. <laughs>